How did National David Warner Rabbit's day come to be? Could a middle-aged artist turned filmmaker have been inspired by the heroic struggles of a gay activist artist who died in 1992 to speak truth to power in 2010? Answer is a definitive yes. It's the day before Thanksgiving. I'm at my art school. I have a night class. So we'll have to see if there's any way I can be contractually allowed to skip out early. Here's my boss. There's only one I'll ask Thursday him. morning right now. He's a hardworking man and he's busy right now. Jim, sorry to interrupt. Is there any way that I would be contractually allowed to uh, not teach my night class the night before Thanksgiving? <laughs> no. I'm afraid you'd have to take that up with uh, the union, I guess. I see some savory lunch, which could only mean my beloved cubicle mate and union official. Uh, Hi, John. Hey, Linda. So what's the story about us teachers who have to teach night classes? Are we supposed to do it? I guess we're contractually obligated? Yes. So what does that mean? It means... You can't get us out of it? You must... I don't have that much. Nobody has that poll. The dean of my school was in a meeting, so apparently he's not going to be able to get me out of my night class, so I'll try, I'll try a higher level. Hey there, John. How's it going? Good. This is our webmaster. Steve, do you think that I could skip out early from night class? I wish it was in my power to be able to, to make a decision like that, but, you know, it's, it's not really up to me, unfortunately. Is, is that a yes? <laughs> Holly, Holly! <laughs> Oh, like, seriously, I have a very important question. Oh, you know, I've heard about this. What? Well, no, no, I no. Don't film do, you, well. do you know what day it is tomorrow? Yes. What? All right. It's Thanksgiving. Okay, so if you were teaching a night class, what would your <laughs> attitude about that be? Woohoo! Party! Oh, tonight? Yeah. I'm coming to your class. Okay, you'll be the only student I have to <laughs> But no, you're welcome to. And I will be teaching a series of uh, students that I draw on the whiteboard because no real students are going to be there. I doubt. Uh, it's one of my best lectures. <laughs> Seriously. Wait, Arthur and I are coming. If I had normal attendance, I would stay the length of time that I normally stay. Okay. Uh, I know that that's just ridiculous. Thank you. And Holly is our very skilled... Uh, what do I do here? <laughs> Our imagination lady. <laughs> do any of you guys have night classes? Yes, I do. I'm John Thorpe. Are you going to have night classes? Are you going to? You do? I'm Don't in the camera. Look, keep oh, the okay. camera on me when I'm talking. Me yes, now. I am going to my night class. And staying till 10? Uh, probably not 10. Why not? Aren't we contractually obligated? Oh, well, yes, we are. But I feel sort of in a festive holiday kind of mood, so I know that we won't stay all the way till 10. I can dress up like a lady, too, and be John uh, Thornton, uh, and, uh, and I can act uh, like uh, 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 <laughs> Now, this is our, our, our art school beauty queen. Now, if you had a night class tonight that you were contractually obligated to teach, Ooh. what would you do? I guess I would hire somebody to pull a fire alarm. Are the consequences that worse than That's breaking a the contract? <laughs> this is our present. Do you know what day tomorrow is, Mike? Yes, I know what day tomorrow is. All right, let's. How about you, Ed? Do you know what day tomorrow this is? That's a trick question. I have a pretty good fix. <laughs> okay, now, should we be incredibly punitive? with attendance for tonight's night class that ends at 10 o'clock? <laughs> Should we just punish the hell out of students that who don't show up? That is a leading up? question. I would, never, I would never recommend that we punish the hell out of anybody. <laughs> including, t including teachers? Including teachers who are contractually obligated to teach their class till 10 o'clock? Classes run on a regular schedule today. Okay. Okay. I just wanted to make sure. Getting an education is a joy. It is. It would never be a punishment to any of our students because they love being here. Right, students? Okay. Well spoken. But the key, the key phrase was, I would never punish the hell out of anyone for anything. Thanks, Mike. Here, I'm going to close the door. I think we got ourselves a ticket. Althea, could you do me a favor? Yeah. 
I have to teach a night class and I don't think I'm going to have any students, but I want to teach them about David Wojnarowicz. Do we have a book on him? W-O-J, I think. I think that David Wojnarowicz could be the patron saint of night classes the night before Thanksgiving. Incredibly gifted, tragically dead. Any comments? Enjoy those books. How did you even know how to spell his name? I've been working here for 15 years, and so I know those things. Now, Colin, the you, what do you think of this artist? Have you ever heard of him? David Wojnarowicz. Wojnarowicz. Obviously, I haven't heard of him. Really? Because I couldn't pronounce his name correctly. Well, that could just be that I'm an idiot? Is that what? <laughs> <laughs> that could just be that Speech you're a moron. <laughs> okay, now, actually... My friend Colin has the best voice. If I had his voice, my YouTube videos would be so you know much you, more popular. You just teased him. <laughs> you just got done saying how what much you love his voice. I do. And I, now you say, you know, but by the best voice is this other guy. Who? Colin. No. Didn't he just say... Colin, well, can you just talk while you look? Aren't these great? They are. Is this a... Uh, well, variety of different media, or is there? I think they're mostly acrylic. acrylic and and he was uh, the whipping like boy for Jesse Helms. He and R Robert Mapplethorpe. Ah. Yeah, he died of AIDS, but he, he terrific artist. I, um, I like the how they're all segmented into different quadrants with different things going on in each one. Now, I think he would have really dug you, Colin. Well, hopefully, you wouldn't sew my mouth shut like that. That's himself. Do you think that's real? Maybe it I is. I hope not. The texture's really cool in that. Yep. The class is scheduled to begin in seven minutes. My goodness, there's a student. One, two, three, four, five students. What the heck are you guys doing here? Don't you know that tomorrow's Thanksgiving? Yeah, but we want to pass this semester. Yes. Yeah. Actually, I you have my full respect for showing up. I was hoping no one would be here, so you would let us leave really early. Huh. I, that's I certainly would not let you go early. We're all contractually <laughs> obligated to be here till 10 o'clock, right? Correct. Okay, that's what we're going to remember. Okay, now, Tim, what was our homework? Two collages. And what was the nature of them? They were abstract, and one has to be brighter, more vibrant colors, and the other one's more and subdued colors. Correct. Let's take a look at yours. Tim, these are very good. We were uh, studying the collage art of Kurt Schwitters last week, and this is a color theory class, so I had them do two collages, one high-key colors and one low-key colors. Very, very nice, Tim. I was not expecting this at all. I have a relatively decent turnout. Just to compare, Look at this classroom over here. Nada. I'm going to have to take this as a tribute to my charismatic personality that my students did not get on the sleigh and go to grandmother's house. <laughs> They're going to spend Thanksgiving evening with me. Seven minutes early, but bye class. Have a good Thanksgiving. See you next time. My class actually showed up. They did good work. It was amazing. I love the students in this class. They are so open to art. We talked about David Wojnarowicz and looked at his work. I told them about David's difficult life, his abusive childhood, life on the streets as a prostitute, and then his becoming one of the most important artists of his generation. how he clashed with the U.S. government over gay rights, and how he tragically died of AIDS before effective treatments were developed. I read them the words of this artwork, which is one of the most moving documents for human rights that I have ever seen. In the early days of my teaching here, I had a gifted graphic design student named Anthony Milano.
Shortly after he graduated from our school, Anthony was abducted by two men at a bar and brutally murdered. These men killed him because he was gay. If you're watching this on YouTube, pause this and take the time to read David's words. And maybe, like me, you'll think that Americans should pay tribute every year, the day before Thanksgiving, to this great artist and human rights advocate. I propose National David Wonorovich Day.